On this one, we're dealing with a real-life scenario, and this particular one is dealing with the shot put for the um, an Olympic men's shot put, and it provides us the equation, and the equation is right here. Y equals negative 0 0.015375x squared plus x plus 6. Okay, so we've got that, and that's fine, and it tells us that x is the horizontal distance. It's a big thing that we want to pay attention to. What does x represent here? Uh, horizontal distance in feet, and y is the vertical height in feet above the ground. Okay, so on this particular one, it asks for the practical meaning of the vertical intercept. So first of all, we have to identify what the vertical intercept is. And vertical intercept, we look back at our original problem here, and the vertical intercept, something unique occurs here, and that's when x equals 0. So we've got to remember that. Uh, x equals 0 at the vertical intercept. Okay, so what we're going to do is we take our equation. I'm going to take this equation right here, and I'm going to write it down, down here. y equals negative 0 0.015375x squared plus x plus 6. Okay, now all I'm going to do is plug in 0 for x. So y equals negative 0 0.015375, 0 times 0 squared, so we can get that parenthesis a little better, plus 0 plus 6. Well, when I'm doing this one, 0 squared is 0 times anything is always 0 plus 0, so that kind of all cancels. My y value on this one, y equals 6, because the other ones, this one cancels out because of that 0, and that's just 0, so so I get y equals 6. So now I've got my ordered pair for my vertical intercept, and that's 0, 6. Okay, and when, you, when it asks for a practical meaning, you basically just want to identify what does this x represent and what does this y represent. Okay, and we go back up here, x is the horizontal distance in feet. Okay, so we'll draw a little arrow here, and we'll say horizontal h distance. Okay, horizontal distance. And for the 6 here, the y value, we look back up here, y is the vertical feet in height. Okay, so that is, um, we'll call it vertical feet vertical height, you could call it that if you wanted to, that would work just as well. Okay, so I'm looking at these here, and I say, okay, at zero, I'm just kind of reading this, at zero horizontal distance, the vertical height is six. Well, zero vertical distance, you, you could write that, and if you wrote that all out at zero um, feet horizontally, it's six feet high, and I'm okay with that. And if you think about this, the shot put, they're throwing it. Okay, so if if we can somehow envision maybe a little shot putter right here, okay, and he's got it right here, there's the ball, and if we can kind of envision this path that he's going to throw it. Um, so we look here, and at zero distance, so it's been nothing horizontally, so right there, it's six feet off the ground, so right as he's throwing it, uh, right before he throws it, if you will, before it goes anywhere horizontally, it's six feet off the ground, and that's our answer. And so, um, you know, you it could be framed in any different way, but um, you could write something something along the lines of uh, as as he begins to throw it, as he begins to throw it. The ball, I shouldn't say ball, it's probably shot put, but nonetheless, the ball is six feet above the ground. Above ground, above the ground. So that's basically it. We just 
find out what our x value represents, what our y value represents, and try to write a sentence about that.